Joy, 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 everyone. This is Swami the Orange Cowboy on another episode of Angel Feathers. Today, our guest is Vincent Arthur. Vincent is a writer, an RN, and heals through love. Vincent, welcome to the show. Thanks for being here. Well, thank you for having me, Swami. Much gratitude. <laughs> Tell us your story, your big story when spirit and you connected and your life changed? Uh, it would have been uh, several years ago now, probably about nine years ago, I'd lost my identical twin. And after I lost my twin, I found it difficult and I had my own brush um, after that uh, with trying to take my own life because I just couldn't quite connect again. And then when I came out of that, I knew I needed to do something. There was a moment, there was a real awakening where I felt that I had a purpose, that there was something I was to do. And that's when I found Dr. Barbara Klein, and she helped me uh, sift through um, who I was without my twin. And uh, we had come through quite um, an abusive childhood. And so by the time we moved through all of the, the things that we needed to move through, just one day, I, I was uh, outside, and I was going through a difficult time at work, and I was like, there has to be that, there there has to be something. And I just kind of felt like there was just this second hand was ticking on a clock, and I was in that moment, and I thought, now I'm connected back to source, and I'm connected back to spirit, and I knew that if I followed that, I knew that if I kept faith, it wasn't always easy, and it still isn't by times. But I knew that if I just held on to that, that it would get better. So your connection with spirit, uh, the other guests, a lot of them talk about seeing an angel or a spirit, a guide, or hearing them. Mm -hmm. But yours was just an inner feeling. Is that correct? It's, a, it's like the whole world kind of slows down, and I'm standing there, and I can see it. And then I just it feels like a tick on the second hand on the clock. And then I know I'm right with spirit then, that they're with me and they're protecting me and guiding me to where I need to be. Beautiful. And now once that feeling clicked for you, how did your life change? What what did you notice now that you felt connected? What could I you was do able, that you could I was able to move through my twins passing a lot easier, faster. I was able to understand the complexity of of what our life was. Um, I was able to finish writing Naked Angels and get it published. I was able to let some of the noise of all the pain that had been in my life go away. And then the more I let go of that, then it was easier to feel spirit with me and move and to be able to see how they were speaking to me regardless of whether it came through a very trusted friend who said something to me, and I could hear that that wasn't their normal language, but it was language that I needed to hear. Very and it was a question that I would have inside, and I'd be like, okay, so everybody pops into my life when they need to pop in there to deliver a message to me about something that I'm, that I'm curious about, or I'm wondering about, or I'm hurting over, or I'm angry about. And I, the other thing, that I learned was that it was okay to feel what I was feeling and that when I felt that it was good to feel that but to be able to move beyond that and then I kind of got to the point where I was able to watch people and say and see them as separate individuals without um, being uh, angry or judging them or I just let them be who they are and then I walk through that and that has really helped me heal myself, and it's allowed me to help others a lot better. Beautiful, beautiful. Uh, before we go, I have to ask you, what is Naked Angels? Because it has the word angels in it, so I'm curious. Oh, okay. So it was the book that I wrote, and it was about uh, the passing of my twin um, okay. and how I recovered in that process and how I found oh, okay. myself again afterwards. Beautiful. And that book is available on Amazon? Or on Amazon, and it was published by Dorrance Publishing. Okay.
Very good. Well, Vincent, thank you for so much for being here and sharing your story. I thank you very much. Thank you for the opportunity and gratitude and love to you. Okay, thank you all for watching the show. We'll be back next time on Angel Feathers. I'm Swami the Orange Cowboy wishing you angel wings of joy, joy, joy. Thank you. Bye-bye.